Nation Live. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like our Facebook page for the baddest Sim Hip Hop interviews. Ready when you read, I'm my best at dawn. This is Web Case by Red Nation Live, episode 37. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate the support. Last week we were 9.33. This week we were 9.55. 45 to go to the big K, to the big thousand. When I come back like Jordan, it ain't to four five with you. So yeah, keep subscribing. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Rep Case by Red Nation Live is your number one source for anything Zim Hip Hop news and anything. And this week's headlines are Junior Brown ready to drop. Kelvin and Sky's Metro FM calls out for peace. Yeah. And do check out the Red Live special. The Pog Zim Hip Hop Awards at 10, a uh, special program that we're doing dedicated to the Zim Hip Hop Awards, where we keep you up to date about everything Zim Hip Hop Awards. I'm a Baxter Don from the south side of town. Thank you for subscribing. Blech. This is Red Nation. First on the headlines, this is good news for hip hop. Junior Brown set to drop. Uh, Begotten Son, uh, the man behind most of Junior Brown's work, the point point guard, yeah, the quarterback, yeah, tweeted uh, a screenshot of a message. Yeah, I can send Ronald Junior Brown, King James, Hans Blasendeip, the pizza basa. I'm going in month end. And Begotten Son, uh, the big man, the big homie, said, fuck yes, send me and Zwisa. Hans, I will, on which number? And Begotten Son couldn't hold the information to himself. He, he I've had a screenshot and I've had up a Twitter. So, yeah, I think, yeah, King James, one of the few, the God MC, the original, the best MC in this game, yeah. That's where the ball stops. I think he's ready to drop his solo debut album. Yeah, and it's not Morning Glory. If you've been checking out our podcast, uh, we dropped the podcast, the Junior Brown episode 20. Uh, we dropped it uh, early this year and he revealed that he changed the name of his album from Morning Glory to the King James Version. And Anzo Nanz, I think the King James Version is ready. And Sandam Bata Breezy. And Breezy, if you're watching this, my nigga, how could you make such a move without contacting us? Where is this newspaper that was supposed to be broadcasting this shit to the world? But anyway, from a reliable source, Anz, it's definitely going down. King James, Junior Brown, the God MC, one of the few, is dropping shit. I don't know if it's a song or the full album, the King James version, month end. So, yeah, uh, Junior Brown has been, uh, ever since uh, the last time I saw him, he was going to SA, so he's been in SA for like, almost like, uh, uh, he's been making music in SA. So we don't know what to expect from the album. Do we have essay features, essay productions and whatnot? But one thing I know about Brown, Brown is a perfectionist. And when he says the thing is ready, it's most definitely ready. The album is not Morning Glory. He changed it to King James Version. Watch our Red Nation Live episode, podcast episode 20. We're looking forward to the album, King James Version. The Golden Sun is behind it. Most definitely, it's gonna be there are gonna be huge, huge features. Where is it? We expecting that Jesus feature. Ah, uh, it's been a minute since we've uh, heard the uh, Jesus Junior Brown record, and I think it's gonna be on the King James version. So I'd like to say to my brother Junior Brown, Jimmy, we're waiting for that hit. King James version drops right about now, and still on that point, I'd like to congratulate the LA Lakers for winning the championship. Why did I have to like include the Panyaya Jimmy? Just because it was a battle of Jimmy's and James was his young. Um, King James, LeBron James, ah, uh, from LA. I get to ring, I get you four. Salute to you. And you brought the championship for LeBron, who step off center. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been almost like 10 years since they played uh, a championship. And the other rival, the nigga from Miami, we lost Jimmy Butler and got a Jimmy Foot. So it's right with Jimmy I drop it. King James version. Since the NBA final where Miami hit Jimmy Butler versus King James version. But the trophy went to LA Lakers. But yeah, 
the King James Version is coming. And salute, sal salute to Junior Brown. Yeah, looking forward. Joe and second on the headlines. Kelvin in Sky's Metro FM calls out for peace. Kelvin in Sky's Metro FM finally found middle ground to their misunderstanding. If you checked out like a um, rap case like the beginning of this year, I mean, my squad was beef between um, the Blawayo rapper, the City of Kings rapper, King Calvin, Kelvin, and Sky's Metro FM uh, radio station blessed, based in Blawayo. I mean, I need to know And yeah, months later, after the COVID, it's October, and the ceasefire, peace, truce. And yeah, this information came through from B Metro. .co.zw. Thank you guys for the information. And Anzi, let me read uh, some of it. Entertainment reporter. The long time running feud between Kelvin. His name is Ndebele. I'm not Ndebele. Better known at Kelvin and Blawayo Radio Station Sky's Metro FM over the playing of his music by the station has finally been resolved with two parties earlier this week deciding to bury the hatchet. The truce, the truce was announced by the, volunteer, the Voluntary Media Council of Zimbabwe in a statement yesterday on Monday, 28 September. The Voluntary Media Council of Zimbabwe, VMCZ, Blawai Provincial Education Committee, mediated in a case involving misunderstanding arising from social media exchanges between Blawai artists Kelvin and Sky Metro FM. The exchanges led to Kelvin bearing Sky Metro FM from playing his music while Sky's Metro FM responded with a blanket blackout of the artist since January this year. Sky's Metro FM is banned and has not played any of Kelvin's music on its programs. But anyway, good news is peace in the city of Kings. Kelvin and Sky's Metro FM are decided to tell Rana. When we go banana, Kelvin was like, yo, Sky's Metro FM, don't play my music. And Sky's Metro FM was like, ah, nah, Kelvin, not going to play your music. It's like, yeah. But anyway, and it's never good to war. Why is it? Harmony is the good way to go, if we, especially if we're trying to build something. We're trying to build Zim Hip Hop and yeah, squabbles and uh, unnecessary battles. This is unnecessary. You cannot beef with the radio station if you're a rapper. And radio stations, please don't beef with rappers. Why is it? Rappers are always looking for some. Why is it? They want to start shit. Why is it? Hey, I to play what Peter say. But as uh, the corporate one, the commercial scene, you are the guys with the money. When they expose them to rappers, you need to know how to handle this shit. And beef on social network, that's not right. But we salute you because when my side of it, she call out for peace and Kelvin is going to be played. And I heard Kelvin is dropping, uh, I think, a mixtape or something. He's been busy this year. Shout out to you, City of Kings. We appreciate. This is Rap Case episode 37. Bleh. Yo, this week we don't have too many stories, but that's good. We got to concentrate on what we love, the beautiful women. It's that time again. WCW, Women Crash Wednesday, World Class Winners, Working Class Women, a.k.a. Bad Bad of the Week. And this week has got to be this girl. She's been making the moves. Ah, uh, this girl by the name Anita Jackson. Salute to you. You're beautiful. You've got a powerful voice. And you've... Ah, uh, shit. You've been like a blessing on TV. Uh, I like uh, the song that you did with uh, Jam Master, Pop 10, your voice and whatnot. Yeah. Fresh voice, man. Yeah. 2020 brought us this... Brand new voice, this pretty female called Anita Jackson. What is your genre? Do you do dance or reggae or whatnot? Or oh, RB or whatnot, pop shit. But you doing the most. I love what you're doing. Everything that you're touching is turning into gold. Popped in Jam Master. Now, I'm a Jam Master. Tell me, sure, now nah, I can be your Murora. Yeah, I love what you're doing and support the girl. Support the girl, Anita Jackson. She also dropped a video with T Gons. It's like she's collaborating all over music, amazing. And yeah, this year I think she's the best female overall in music. 
amazing. You know, she's been doing the most, then she's been like, she got the hits, she's got the voice, she's got the flavor, she's down to earth. So salute to you, Miss Anita Jackson. You're this week's WCW Women Crash Wednesday, world class winner, working, working class women, aka you're bad, bad, and you're really bad. Top 5 DOA, Top 5 Dead or Alive, episode 37. Yeah, talk about everything hot. Five things hot. And Jarotta doesn't work, my son. I just want to feed you on positive vibes. And this week's Top 5 DOA, since it's NBA, uh, my NBA, uh, I got paid the finals between Miami Heat and the LA Lakers. Um, I got paid like on Monday. Yeah, Monday, CAT, Central Africa time. Check your time with ours. And Lakers won the series 4-2. Yeah, they, uh, they did it for Mamba, man. Kobe Bryant. Yeah, remembered always. And LeBron, LeBron, fourth ring. Ring number four. So, guys, Miami. And shout out to Mob G, true Laker fan. For the championship, Salute to Jimmy Butler of the Miami Heat for having two triple doubles in one final. Amazing. That was amazing. But anyway, LA Lakers, the trophy's home for Mamba. You did it. So this week's top five DOA is dedicated to the best NBA players. You need to know these guys, man. If you don't know anything about these guys, where you been? Chaga. 2k something and you get to know these guys they are like <laughs> they are like yeah first on my list it's obvious man number one i don't think i'm gonna be the the nigga mj michael jordan 23 where is he uh played for the bulls from like uh 84 to 98 i think i got a two my three peat where is he from um 90 91 92 93 Amazing. I want better break when his father died and he came back into uh I'm gonna talk about baseball and he came back about two or foot three peat. Can I do three peat? Three my championship I got on. So Michael Jordan's got six rings. He's the greatest of all time. Number 23. He also went on to have a sneaker, one of the best sneakers ever, if it's not the best sneaker ever, the Jordans. So I got Michael Jordan is number one on top five DOA NBA players. Number two has got to be my nigga from LA, man. The Black Mamba. Rest in peace, you're missed always. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Kobe Bryant is like the Jesus Christ. I call Michael Jordan the God of basketball. Kobe Bryant is the Jesus Christ, my Jesus. Kobe Bryant played for the LA Lakers. I got Tanga. Um, I don't think it was. I got draft for well, number one draft pick. And uh, 96, 97, I think, yeah. Dope, I got And fun fact about in uh, about Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant took Brandy, the singer, who um, prom, amazing, amazing. Kobe Bryant started off wearing number eight, right? And started off wearing number eight. Um, very competitive. Watching Jordan, he wanted to beat Jordan, and I think he got about like um. One, two rings. Um, I was on better scandals, okay. Uh, six scandals and whatnot. No bag has decided and he evolved to Black Mamba and he changed the number to number 24. And he got like three more, three more rings. Kobe Bryant's got five rings. And yeah, we salute you always. Rest in peace, Black Mamba. And so, salute to LeBron James, Anthony David, J.R. Smith, my nigga. Yeah, bre. And yeah, that nigga Rondo too, bre. Ah, uh, third on my list, top five GOA NBA players has gotta be that nigga that makes shit happen. Jangatanga Kupa Kobe Bryant, his first ring. Ah, uh, this nigga, the big man. I don't think I'm number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. And that was a Shaquille O'Neal was playing for the Orlando Magic. Yeah, Orlando Magic. Do I support on a mob G back in the day? No guy did a shake him. Supporting the Orlando Magic and the uh Abazu sign work with LA Lakers. Agenda ku Lakers kwa kuyam played uh besides Kobe and yo 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 yo. If you listen to hip hop, you know about Shaq and Kobe. They're like the baddest team. 
Shaq and Kobe, Jordan Pippen, Shaq and Kobe, Shaq and Kobe. Yeah, why is it? Yeah, I got out to Kobe. I just say, I've been them for my reason. So shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, I got to say, you move from the LA Lakers and Avoya to uh, 305 Miami Heat. I'm D Wade. His first ring, my easy. Miami, Miami, I guess I am won a championship ever. And Shaquille O'Neal promised us a ring and our biters. So shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. He's number three on top five DOA NBA players. Number four is gotta be the king of our time. LeBron James, King James. Say no more about the king. He's got four rings. He's played like in on, on, in almost every final, my easy. But uh, still can beat Jordan, still can beat Kobe, but he's consistent. According to me, I think LeBron James is the best sportsman of our time. All sports. Ronaldo has competitive, like Ronaldo, the football player. He's not competitive like uh, LeBron James. Messi is not competitive like uh, LeBron James. Tom Brady. Who else? Uh, LeBron James is the beast of sports. He's a sportsman of our times. 17, 17 years, 17 years in the league. Four, four rings. And he's been playing finals. Uh, he gave uh, Miami two championships. And I've ended up hometown, I've come drafted like the first time Cavs, Cavaliers. I've had a trophy out of yeah, I've got up with LA Lakers and he did it for the Mamba, man. I've got up Lakers. And I find it, me and G were talking this other day and was like, this guy is amazing. He's the king of our time. He gave us, me and G, I got to put my ring, why is it? He gave me two rings and he gave G a ring too. So LeBron James, you're the, you're the king of modern day basketball, why is it? Shout out to you, you're number four. And number five, G doesn't know about this nigga. But that doesn't win number five in the wrong. I respect this nigga. He's a true, true champion. He comes from the White Walkers of NBA, from the San Antonio Spurs. 20 years playing, 20, 21 years playing for the same team. Five championships. Timothy Duncan from the San Antonio Spurs. He's number five on my list. If you don't know about Duncan, nigga, I told you on the other episode, you need to. You need to, you need to know this guy. They are behind an Tony Poker, Ginobili, Kawhi Leonard. You need to check out that, that guy. Where is he? Houston Rockets behind before I have been the San Antonio Spurs was dominating because of Team Duncan. So yeah, this is Rapcast episode 37, top five DOA NBA players. Number one, Michael Jordan, six rings. Kobe Bryant, five rings. Shaquille O'Neal. Three, four, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll check that out. LeBron James, four, current MVP, four rings. Team Team Duncan, five rings. Yeah, I'm my Baxter Don, and this is Rap Case, episode 37. Bleh. Yeah, I love this segment. This is where we fit the culture. Look what's new Tangera Kwesi, new releases, and it's been amazing. No one knows what the face with new releases has been amazing. It's been amazing. My songs are going to show 10, 15, my releases and release were in a week, and we cannot cover everything. Rappers, FMCs, MCs, this year you've been amazing. 2020 has been your year. Hip hop, yeah, you're now part of the conversation. And this week on new releases, our pills, Monofaro drops his fourth album, Chinji, called The Crossover. Yeah, I listened to. Yeah, almost all of the album. And Faro never disappoints, guys. Um, I love this song with Kiki Beres. Anzi, Verenga Ishoma. Yo, the beat on that, the beat on that, it's amazing. It's something that you want to just vibe to in the fucking club. I'm looking forward to the video to that one. Our pills, please deliver Deliver, my nigga, deliver, deliver. We need a video for that one. The flows were on point. Kiki, 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 mwa. But if you're writing by yourself, kiki, maintain that pen. Nice one, King Faru. Nice collab. And the other track on it is AK Remix. I was like, yeah, AK Remix. What does the new funeral boss Jesus? 
Raise up a challenge. I got weird. And I was expecting to make the boss this. But anyway, our pills is dealing with the female. Shout out to you. I got decided I was at Tashamiswa. And Tashamiswa didn't, didn't disappoint. Amazing. Tashamiswa crying in my face to rap so I got uh, 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 uptown, miss um down south, and they delivered. I like it. AK remix. Another song is, yeah, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite song is Uripo featuring Yolanda Krim. You sampled, uh, I think, an Eben Gru song. Yeah, you now know how to make music up because you're sampling our own music. Which is, um, times and for people that didn't know this record, this new case, Havana, Latirir, Ogasimbla, Karako, Dagan's Uripo, and that record is amazing. Yolanda Krim. Wow, you got a voice. I'm looking forward to the video of that one. And please vote for this Ripple song. It's a very, very, very radio friendly song. It needs to be on radio. It, it's a number one song. And I please, I love your vibe, my love tracks. Why is it? Vibe, but I will record it to my love tracks. You know how to do things for the ladies. And I appreciate that. And there's this other track where you collaborated with this nigga from City of Kings, Asaf. Protection, protection, protection. Yeah. That's one dope track. Um, competition. Between R. Pills and Asaf. R. Pills is a Venec rapper. Asaf Mazwano, you're concentrating on English. And yo, 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 the bars are on point. What I like about the Muchinjiko crossover album mostly is um, some of the R. Pills are upgraded. I was trying to get the same with that commercial thing, features and whatnot. The features are big, so support the boy. And I heard the dance is trending, is at the top ten on iTunes in Zimbabwe. So support the boy, play the album, and vote for the songs, especially that Uripo song, man. Give me a remix, yo. Second on new releases, yeah, it's not, it hasn't dropped, but yeah, it's set to drop. Jesus said to drop the sequel to his 400, and bar, 400 bars and running mixtape. 400 bars and still running on the 23rd of October. He revealed this through his social network pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. He revealed this through um, Instagram. Uh, he's been posting pics. I started on the 23rd of October. He's dropping the sequel to 400 bars and running. It's called 400 Bars and Still Running. It's going to have new songs, man. I've been working with them. And yeah, it's going to be something else. It's going to be something else. Jesus is here to stay, guys. And yeah, finding my features, Aruna Kidza. The music, it's serious. If you heard the first 400 Bars and Running, yeah. If you haven't checked it out, it's on our channel. Check it out. Ah, not disrespecting that one, but this one. Ah, you're going to be surprised. So make sure on the 23rd of October, you got your data in check because Boss Jeezy is dropping 400 bars and still running. Boys Disaster versus A, bud. And 23rd of October, it's a very interesting day. Black Pearl said to drop Project Pearl on the same day as Jeezy. And expect fireworks from Pearl. She's been promising an album. She's been quiet for a minute. And um, Bagam Mudam is what Pills have to run. There's one noble styles, Bagam Muda, who is a big, 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 Yo, babe, handle my shit with Jesus. And yo, Zimmy Po fans, we're not having it. Why is it? But uh, Black Pill dropped the record, you know, the Kudaka. I like the song. Yeah, I like the song. And she's been promising a project called. Uh, Project Pearl and it's dropping on the same day that like Jesus, the 23rd of October. Saka is going to be an interesting October. I'm calling it Red October because I got sugar. Yeah, Saka on the 23rd of October, be on the lookout for 400 bars and still running by Bars Allah Jesus and Black Pearl dropping the Project Pearl. Saka, yo, save a that amazing. Just because it's ah, good night, kids. Fourth on new releases is this girl, our WCW, Anita Jackson. She dropped a song with T Gones called Shelia. 
I don't know if I, I pronounced that shit right. Directed by Leo V. I watched the video. The video is amazing. I told you, um, Anita Jackson, you cannot do nothing wrong. Be, yeah. And we said, T guns, T guns, only T guns, you killed it. You won't point your dress code. Ah, the sad guys, the sad. Ah, one thing I want to big up to you, Zim guys, that the set designers, when I read a set, I look at the shoot my videos. You sets have been amazing. Leo V, shout out to you, my nigga. That Anita song is amazing, and the video is just out of this world. I don't know if it's enough for T Gones, but he moves some race yeah yeah. Your best man, why is it? But yeah, T Gones, nice one. I like the chord, I like the verse. Support these songs, guys. These are channel all where the songs trace MTV bass. And fifth on new releases. Yeah, the most important rapper. Ah, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy's been making it on rap case for the past three, four episodes, I think. Ah. Wally 10, what is it? Wally 10 dropped a video. Yes, song, I can use Kumba Kunevan. One thing I like about Wally 10, Wally 10, I don't know. Your music is so original, it's so pure. video, it hits you hard. I feel those bars. And my baby, I feel like girls, women are supporting Wally 10. I don't know why, man, but ah, the music I went to get quite not saying to attack you, just um, speeding your two cents. And it's about time now. We only two cents, it's in the bus, and Holly Ten is the guy. This video is amazing. You listen to Holly Ten's raps, you watch the videos, and now we know wrong. So I keep doing the good job, my nigga. Salute to you, and damn, you're getting you, you're averaging over. 4K likes on Instagram, my nigga. You're now a real celebrity. Saga, so Holy 10. Ah, uh, sixth on new release. Sixth on new releases. Nizi Raps featuring Bright 360. Kafelling produced by X on the beat and Blast Beats. Yo, Bryce, Bright 360, you've been doing the most. You dropped an album called Purple Fellings. And now you're featuring on an easy rap song. Easy rap, you serious with your art. I like the song. Ah, uh, you vibe, we got it different. Ah, and send them on 360 on a vibe like this. But it's a really, really good song. I'm looking forward to the video. If you're dropping a video, Easy Raps, please. More works, guys. You Chitang guys have been doing the most. Yeah. And yeah. I'm my Baxter Don. This is Rap Case episode 37. I told you, 45 to go to the K. 1000, and we start monetizing. My sponsor, I don't go that boy and day thing. But we appreciate. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Rap Case is on episode 37, and it's not stopping anytime soon. And check out the content on our channel, Red Nation Live, the Red Live Special. Uh, the Pog Zim Hip Hop Awards at 10. Um, you know, good every week. We keep you up to date about everything Zim Hip Hop. Check out our channel. More shit is coming, and we appreciate the love from the south side of town. I'm a Baxter Don. Uh, shout out to Mob G, my guys, uh, uh, Boss G's, and you, the fans, the nation. We appreciate. Brech.